Ahoy, ladies. It's Haley. So bear with me on this one. This isn't exactly my most planned or well thought out video. Uh, but here we are. Let's get into it, I guess. We are all well aware of the state of the planet right now. Um, we are living in a pandemic. We've been in it for a year now. Um, so if you made it this far, good for you. I'm, I'm proud of you. Not only are we dealing with a global pandemic, but the current state of the planet is also falling to shit in many other ways, including and not limited to the essential genocide of the black population in America. Homegrown terrorism and the world is just absolute garbage. I am so exhausted. It's exhausting. Like getting up and reading the news or even opening Twitter is just so horrible. Being alive and living through all of these historical events that it's especially exhausting for folks like myself that have mental health issues. As it is on a regular day, we don't want to leave the house. <laughs> So now getting up and living regular day to day life is honestly just a waste of itself. Basically, the point of this is that now doesn't feel like the right time for anything. It doesn't feel like the right time to post cooking videos on my channel. It doesn't feel like the right time to share memes on Facebook. It doesn't feel like the right time to continue real life. It just, nothing feels good right now. But I just wanted to let everyone know out there that you are all doing your best to work through this. And I'm extremely proud of everything you're doing. Whatever you're doing right now to cope and get you through the day is worth it. Even if it's as simple as zoning out to a podcast or playing Candy Crush or hugging your cat, whatever you need to do to get through this is important to you and you shouldn't feel guilty about doing that. If you're not being productive right now, that's okay. You don't need to be productive. You don't need to write a book or start a podcast or become an influencer on Instagram. You don't need to do anything. Don't feel guilty about existing and getting yourself through this. We as a society have never been through something like this before, where every single day there's a new historical event and we just have to keep pushing through it and keep going to our minimum wage jobs and pretending like nothing's happening when we don't know if our friends are going to die or our neighbors are going to get shot in the street for buying cigarettes. We don't, we don't know. It's a weird time. And the last thing you need is to be hard on yourself right now. Right now is a time to be kind to yourself, even though I know how hard it is. I am full of self-hatred constantly, but you know what? It's time to look after ourselves. Even if that's watching The Office or whatever. Watching Lord of the Rings for the eighth time in a week. <laughs> do it. Do what you need to do to get through it. I am proud of you. You're doing the best that you can. Just be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And hopefully we can get through this together. Because the way that things are going, people aren't going to be nice out there when you leave your house. You just have to do what you can to be nice to yourself. Meditate, take breaks off of social media, that's a big one. Watch your comfort movies, your shows. Do the best you can. Hopefully some of this resonates with you. Um, let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. Thank you so much for listening to this weird 
very out of character for my channel. Um, weird ranty video. Hopefully some of it makes sense. Um, and hopefully soon I will be doing more content when I'm not so fucking depressed and scared. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Please let me know how you're doing in the comments. Um, let me know what you've been doing to cope through all of this. I would really love some advice um, on how you get through your day. Uh, I love you all so much, um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.